Apostle Johnson Sulman Biography Apostle Johnson Sulman started his ministry in Agua Delta State, Nigeria, but the ministry didn't grow, so he went to Orchi under the leading of the Lord. Conventionally, callings and divine selections are purely in human decision, but are products of predestination, which are made way before the very creation of the world and hatched into reality when the Kolb discovers his destiny. Such is the case of Apostle Johnson Sulman. Few days after Apostle Johnson Sulman was born, story has it that prophets traveled all the way from Wuri, in Delta State of Nigeria, to being in an Edo State of Nigeria. Apostle Johnson Sulman's place of birth, armed with message from God. When his parents inquired to know what the message was all about, they were informed that God told the prophets that a prophet that would minister in God's presence has been born. Apostle Johnson Sulman's parents refused to continue listening to the prophets because they were Muslims and could not understand the possibility of their son becoming a Christian, let alone being God's minister. As the young Apostle Johnson Sulman began to grow, his parents observed that he was somehow strange in the way he did things. He values the things of God even as he attends the mask with his father. As young as he then was, he knew he was not in a path he was meant to be. While he was doing his secondary school in Orchi, his hometown, Apostle Johnson Sulman had an encounter with Christ, but he however received a lot of pressures that made him to withdraw from Christianity for a little while. However, Apostle Johnson Sulman later moved to Benin City in Edo State, where he finally declared for Christ and got reconnected with his destiny. Immediately after that, Apostle Johnson Sulman started hanging out with his Christian brothers and accompanies them for work of evangelism and prayers. On June 20, 1994 he got a revelation where he saw the image of the globe being given to him with a biblical inscription of Acts 10.38 written on it. Before this happened, Apostle Johnson Sulman had read through the whole Bible repeatedly for three good times because of his unquenchable thirst for God. However, all the time he had studied he Bible, he never gave any particular attention to Acts 10.38. Apostle Johnson Sulman owes from the vision, he was so shocked, and immediately searched for his Bible to check out what the Scriptures reveals. Upon opening the verse, he saw that it contained the following sentence, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. He then immediately understood that he had just been communicated the mandate given to him by God to preach his gospel round the world with a power ministry. It is consequent upon the above that his ministry, Omega Fire Ministries International was later born. Omega Fire Ministries International's website has it that God gave his chosen servant, Apostle Johnson Sulman, a divine mandate to clean the tears of people's his destinies restored by the preaching of the word, and bringing into manifestation the power and reality of the Holy Spirit. They maintain that God equally instructed his chosen servant to bring to an end the affliction of his people by telling him I am sending you with an Omega anointing. The Omega Fire Ministries International was accordingly brought into existence to restore the joy of men, making men to manifest their destiny, thereby becoming the best that God created them to be, and reversing the wickedness of the enemy. Omega Fire Ministries International believes in the fire operation of the Holy Spirit of God which refines, purifies, and at the same time destroys. The mission of Omega Fire Ministries International is one that believes in judgment of God on the wicked. The ministry believes that the oppressions and demonic manipulations are reality. They know equally that the authority of God's power is more real that it is all, powerful and all, pervading. Omega Fire Ministries International hold as true the belief that all power belongs to God, and that the devil and his cohorts has no scriptural right to control and manipulate the destinies of the children of God. 
They also believe that it is the right of believers to live fulfilled life. Consequently, the ministry believes it is saddled with the divine mandate to restore those divine rights of believers, fasting and prayer life. Apostle Johnson Sulman is known for fasting and prayers he once fasted for, two years 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, and the doctor said he will not make it, because his intestines sliced after the exercise but today he is alive demonstrating the power of God without limitations. It once said Apostle Johnson Sulman has prayed for three days non-stop. He has also prayed for 30 to 36 hours non-stop. There was a time he locked his pastors up, and he prayed with them for 18 hours non-stop. It has been said also Apostle Johnson Sulman fasted for 19 days dry no food no water, it was during this exercise. His eyes and ears poked open, that was how he was introduced deeply into the prophetic movement. Media test. Apostle Johnson Sulman was called for interview by pressmen but and only to him. His chair was being electrocuted by media personnel, while honoring the invitation by the press. He sat on the electrocuted chair, and the media personnel were astonished, asking him, Sir, are you all right? Apostle Johnson Sulman kept saying he was okay. After the interview, the media personnel confessed that his chair was intentionally electrocuted, but we're surprised nothing happened to the abscissal. And then after the chair, was tested life electric current came out of the chair. Plane crash. Apostle Johnson Sulman was on his way to pray for someone with a private jet. While on the air the pilot collapsed, and the assistant pilot couldn't control the plane on air. Immediately Apostle Johnson Sulman was told. He commanded the plane to turn back, and land immediately the plane turned back, and landed even, while the pilot was unconscious, and he came out and hurt told another pilot to enter the jet and fly him that he wants to see the devil that will take his life on the air. Bomb explosion. Apostle Johnson Sulman was invited to preach in a church abroad not knowing there was a dispute between the Bethlehem of the church and the bomb was planted in the church. While ministering he told everybody to run out of the church that God just spoke to him. Immediately they all ran out the church the church exploded. COVID-19 Miracles After the World Miracle Service prayers held by Apostle Johnson Sulman, these were the global miracle outburst. Zambia 19 persons tested negative. Spain 11,000 people tested negative. Italy 11,000 people tested negative. America 43,000 people tested negative. Nigeria 46 persons tested negative. France 4,000 people tested negative. Germany 12,000 people tested negative. Resurrection of the dead. In the year 2016 more than 55 dead people were brought back to life by the Restoration Apostle through the power of the Holy Ghost. Apostle Johnson Sulman is known for his ruggedness and brutality. Trials. Apostle Johnson Sulman was disowned by his father because he changed religion from Muslim to Christianity. It was once said Apostle Johnson Sulman trekked from Lagos to Benin on foot. Assassinations attempts. Apostle Johnson Sulman has been shot 12 times by unknown gunmen, but unfortunately the bullet couldn't penetrate into his body and the assassins zoomed off in. Disappointment. Spiritual father. Apostle Johnson Sulman was the spiritual son of the late Archbishop Benson. Idahosa before he died and he switched over to Pastor Adiboy of Redeemed Christian Church of God, personal life. He is currently married to Lizzie Johnson Sulman, and they are happily blessed, with beautiful kids. Subscribe to Church Info for more updates.